yes guys and welcome back today we're doing the competitive striker build so a lot of you wanted a build you can really use for competitive play and here is a striker and conveniently he has just the same build as Mbappe he is built the same way and it's designed to feel similar in game to that as well you're built purely for striking being a finisher being all that as well if you want to be someone crazy with it as well the dribbling is very good in this one as well but if you're somebody who plays as a second striker or maybe like a support striker Put a message down below. We'll see if we can make some modifications and change it up a little bit for you as well. But we're going to keep it nice and easy today. So, 5 foot 10. And yes, you're going to use the striker one. Again, if you're someone who goes out wide, we'll do one off a centre forward. But this one, striker build, 5 foot 10, 165 pounds. As I said, it's going to be that Mbappe style of build. Left footed because the difference in you and Mbappe is you're going to be better. Do you know why? Because you're using your left foot. Don't ask why. Stop asking questions. We'll get to the play styles in a moment. And go to the attributes here as well all maxed out here you probably was expecting that you probably aren't surprised with that in the slightest we're going to fully max these out you need the pace here as well you need it to be as high as it can with everything else it is going to be perfect when you're playing against pro center backs you're going to need every edge which is why i'm going to explain all the play styles properly as well shooting over here again you need your essentials this isn't a build about going crazy with it you need essentials so straight down the middle because we're going to need that, that skill star that uh, weak foot sorry that weak foot five star as well to so get that one straight down the middle you don't need set pieces you don't need anything else stop trying to be stupid you know it you just go straight down the middle get all the shot power you can and really boost it up 94 shot power is going to be key here as well now over to this side as well Finish into the max, and I know what a lot you're thinking. You could go here, and yeah, potentially there is one you can swap here, which I'll explain in a moment. But for me, as soon as you get to 91, the difference between 91 and 96 finishing, when I've been testing it as well, when I check the arrow and the bar, the move that the area for any error is so minimal, it's not worth it. You're better off just sticking with what you've got here as well. So start off with this one. If you play a little bigger, then do message below. I can get you one like a lot heading and stuff like that as well. But the heading's really not that hard this year. For some reason, they've kind of boosted up a bit. But again, five-star weak foot. Now, passing. This will get surprised a lot of people. You just need to get it to over 80. You're playing simple. You're playing easy. You're not going to need to spray the passes. If you're doing that as well, there's a cam build that I've got on my channel. Go check that out. It'll be a lot better suited for you. This is the perfect one here. And a lot of people are questioning the 510. Don't worry, it'll all come through in a minute. Now, over here, you want everything on this left-hand side. Don't miss a single thing, left-hand side and then right-hand side, exactly the same. You need you need to make sure you double-click in on this balance here as well. You want all the way down here, you want both archetypes on there as well. This is the one where I would say, for me, I like it because when you've got a high balance, for some reason, whenever a defender leans on you, your guy's balance will counter that. It actually acts like strength. And being 5'10 and already kind of mid-weight, for some reason, you've got enough strength to kind of let them lean on you a little bit about getting done. The balance will allow you to keep kind of momentum and you won't get pushed off the ball. So don't question the madness. But if you really want, you can go put that finishing on. It is completely up to you. For me, you can you can go and swap it and go for this one down here. But I don't think this is necessary. I think having this here, and again, I don't have five-star skill. Five-star skills are actually very good against people. For some reason this year, if they have the right play styles on, they will just take that ball clean off you as soon as you start that skill move. For some reason, it's not as strong as it is when you're using it against defaults and stuff. So I won't really focus on that. For, unless that's your style, unless that's your play, then make that change there as well. There's plenty of ways you can move around it. And you see, I'm only level 97. So a couple extra ones if you're level 100. Probably put that on skill plus uh, skill moves there as well. Make that five star, five star. But for me, the four star skill moves are enough to kind of get out of any kind of situation for me. Uh, and you don't need anything else on here. And a lot of people will question that. But again, this is a maxed out build in competitive play. And when you're playing 11s and stuff like that, you need to have the, all your build maxed out to do what it needs to do, which is be touch tidy, be comfortable, have good balance, have enough agility to get out of scenarios as well. That agility and balance is going to allow you to maintain your pace, which is why the pace is here. You don't need to be much smaller. You've got enough pace and power here. And with the finishing, all the shot power. Look at that, 91 finishing, 94 shot power. If that gave, if I gave you a player on champs to go on there as well, this kind of striker, this is perfect. So don't question it. Just go and use it, and I promise you, things will change for you as well. Now, we're going to go to the play styles here. I do go technical plus because there's scenarios where when you're using the RB dribbling and you're driving in, even if you're just down near a line and you need to kind of slow the ball down, you can run with this as well, and I promise you, the people can't touch you on it because of everything else that you've got. It is just so perfect. This will kind of counter a lot of the ones that people have on their defending one as well. It'll kind of just take away from it a little bit. 
and quick step as well. This one is so key. A lot of people will have quick step just on their normal guy as well. So whether it's centre back, he'll have it on one of these silvers as well. And a lot of people build it like that. For some reason, this game doesn't go stat for stat. It will go play style for play style. If your play style overweighs theirs, that's it. If they don't even have this on, I generally believe for some reason, if they don't even have it as silver, they won't even take into the gold consideration or go stat for stat. Because that's how this game works. It's so broken. But it's kind of a case of whose is bigger than whose. And yours is going to be bigger as well. So make sure you use that. And I promise you it will help you a ton. Finesse shot is another one. I thought about switching finesse shot and technical uh, plus. That's kind of an option for you. I made the decision to go with finesse shot as silver. If I'm completely honest. I haven't really worked out how to beat a keeper like comfortably of a shot. Whether it is power shot or whether it is finesse shot. I tend to find finesse shot can actually glitch a keeper, and so can Traveller as well. So Traveller is another one you might want to consider using. But if I'm honest with you, technical plus, I'm thinking of times when I'm going to be in the box, I'm looking for somebody to come with me. And when you come off a technical dribble, when you're actually dribbling in there and you're driving in with control sprint, coming off that dribble and passing is going to be a lot easier for you. Again, the game doesn't make sense. In theory, it should slow it down. But because you're in control sprint, that word controlled, how, how like hovers all the way through the team and for some reason it will give it you there as well and you'll get that cutback pass that you need and that's kind of it really i don't really think you need to overdo it with it but i go finesse shot and power shot you can switch one of these out with it there as well power shot is very good if you can master this especially a green time if you can do green time with a gold i promise you you'll be a keeper non-stop it is very difficult to do but if you've got that try it out and i promise you this will be non-stop now this one is very important here as well, incisive pass. And again, you don't have your passing very high, and I did say that as well. But what you need to make sure you're doing is you're kind of countering what anyone else is going to do against you. So a lot of people, they're going to come in against you, and they're going to be able to intercept. They're going to have anticipate. They're going to have everything on there that they need to have. So they're going to stop you. So what you need to do is make sure you have every little boost to be able to just get ahead of them. And this, for me, is all you need. Just need it on silver. Also, rapid is another one as well, because there's going to be times where you're kind of breaking in behind, you knock that ball, and then you will go. I promise you, with the speed you've got as well, you've got the acceleration advantage. You won't really have the top speed advantage over a centre-back, so don't expect that a lot. But what you will have the acceleration advantage, so you'll be able to boost the head, you'll be able to fly off, and then off you go. And then kind of just drive it in there as well. Situations where you are under pressure, if it's in the box, this is why your ball control is high. So you can control the ball comfortably. And then when you're being pressed, you're press proven. This one here is a ridiculous one that not enough people use. And it's another one, to be honest, I considered at times, especially with a cam, having it as a play style plus. But I kind of find having it here, it gives you everything you need. So I wouldn't really overstress it. That's very important. And over here, relentless. This is because you're not going to be boosting up your stamina a lot as well. You can if you really want to and take some stuff off. But in 11s, you're not doing a lot of sprints. You're not doing a lot of high kind of movements as well. I would say having relentless will allow it as well. Obviously, you can see during half time and extra time, it increases a little bit as well. You need to make sure that you just have this on. It will help you non-stop. And when you look through the others, there's not really any that are going to miss. Chip shot aren't really going to be used. Dead ball, you can, but that's when you're just one of these little hoes. I'm not going to lie to you. Power header, that's if you're going to have it built a bit more. Take off power shot if you do go for one with a little bit more heading or you want to go slightly bigger. Uh, and the rest of it, to be honest, is kind of as you need. Travella's another one I mentioned, but I don't think any of these are necessary. Potentially, instead of press proving, you can go first touch. If you're not finding yourself in areas where you drop in at all, then I would say switch press proven with first touch and have that in the box there as well because obviously you can get the ball out your feet and very comfortable. But that's it for me today. I promise you, this is the build you need. If you have any questions, any sort of comments, just fire them down below. I'll answer through everything as well. And any other builds you want to see, make sure you comment it down below and explain to me, as I said before, how you play. Don't just put a comment down there for how you play, put what you're playing, whether it's 11s, whether it is just small man, and I can build a build just for you. Now, that is it for me today. Make sure you like, as I said, comment everything you want down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.